Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor Channel. And so, yes, y'all, welcome to my home once again. So, yes, I am chilling in the house of my husband today. is a very overcast day. It was raining and thunderstorming. Yo, y'all gotta remember, I, even though I'm from Brooklyn, was raised in Brooklyn, left in my early 20s, and moved to California. I've been in California so long, for so long, and I'm used to California weather patterns. And, and one of the patterns is, we don't get a lot of, we don't get thunderstorms and lightning, I mean, very rarely. And so yesterday was raining all night, and it was it's beautiful, I love the rain here. There was a lot of thunderstorms and a lot of lightning, and it was cool, but it was like that feeling like a little girl being scared. So anyway, totally enjoyed it, but we also are experiencing rain on and off today. And so I was not going to run some errands, but before we do that, I wanted to, if you see the title of this video, you know that I, I want to talk about and show you how to, or how we, my husband and I, Afrocentric our bathroom. So, but how to have an Afrocentric male and female bathroom. And I, it's a reason why I want to talk about that today. A lot of times I'll see an uh, Afrocentric bathroom, I'll see bathrooms in people's homes, they'll do home decor. And the bathroom for when a woman does it, it tends to be kind of girly and very divine and feminine. And I get that. I get that as a woman, you need softness. You need the flowers and the pretty colors and all the bling and all the little, you know, just figurines that look like and feel like you. I get it. You need it. But your man also needs to feel like he's part of the bathroom. So in my case, it's a little easier because we have two bathrooms. And so my husband has one and I have the other. And so we were able to decorate our bathrooms in a way that fits our personalities so we still could feel represented. He never uses my bathroom and I really use his. His is actually at the, when you enter into the front door, his is there, but I really use it as well. So it's kind of cool, you know, that we get to express ourselves through our bathroom. So if you have two bathrooms and you ever thought to yourself, wow, one can be the masculine kind of bathroom and one can be the feminine bathroom, let me tell you why that works for both parties. Because you both of us have the masculine and feminine aspects of ourselves. And so in having that kind of probably separate but equal kind of way of, of doing our decor, it makes us both feel good. So if I walk into his bathroom, I get another feeling. And he, when he walked into my bathroom, he said it looked like a, a glamorous room. It looked so beautiful. It was feminine. Like he really loved mine and I really loved his. I think his expresses they definitely the artistic side. Remember y'all when we talked about, I showed you those pictures of the Afro Sheen uh, commercials or advertisements from magazines and he took it out of the magazine and then he got it blown up and put it on a, a, a board or a masonite? Well, I'm gonna show you what he's done to it and where he does what he's done to it. And he's not even done yet. There's a few more things that I know that he wants to put up. He, we saw some uh, soap dispensers that's kind of like a made of wood, and that's his style to me, the wooden the things of wood or brown. He also has a lot of uh, a pit section. Oh my God, I forgot to reuse my mic, but yeah. But he also has a lot of hair picks that I know that he would love to put up in his uh, bathroom. So things are still coming, and I'll show you about that. And mine is a definite feminine. Now remember, y'all, when I show you my bathroom, keep in mind that I'm setting my bathroom up for my healing, my particular healing journey. Journey. I am a holistic practitioner, but I'm really getting back into my individual healing because I've been helping to heal so many people for so long. And so I kind of redid my bathroom. I'll show you what I did. It's slight but it's going to be more changes to fit what I need. I'm a person who likes to do a lot of womb healing, so I definitely got to have your enema bag in there. I need my sea salt. I take sea salt baths every day. Definitely have to incorporate the, a, a container with sea salt in it, but still having to go with the decor and still making sense. So I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely working on that. So. Um, what else do I want to talk about? And so yeah, I just want to say that I'm going to show you both bathrooms. Maybe you'll get some ideas on how to incorporate for those that are single and don't have a relationship. A lot of times, remember I said to you, our space could be the reason why we don't have the relationship we want. Maybe we're not making room in our bathroom for a male counterpart or in our space for a male counterpart. Maybe, or, or if, you know, whatever relationships that you have, maybe you're not making room for another partner. So a second person. Maybe there's not enough room. Maybe there's no shelf space open. Maybe the colors are off. So things, look at these kind of things. 
And so, yes, let me just think. So, yeah, I think that that's it. Um, I hope you can hear me. I'm going to have my mic next time. I forgot to wear it, but I will wear it as we do the tour for the two bathrooms. So, first thing you're going to see is my husband's bathroom. And like I said, it's uh, definitely still a work in progress, but I really like it. It has a very earthy African feeling. And then you'll see mine, and, I'll, and I'm going to talk about the changes that I still want to make in mine. All right, y'all, thank you for taking these few minutes with me, and I'll see you in a minute. Peace and blessings. All right, y'all, thank you for staying tuned. So, yes, we are in my husband's bathroom. Now, his bathroom is way bigger than mine. Actually, I think this is a pretty big bathroom. I'm not comparing it to big old homes and new, new builds, but this is a pretty decent-sized bathroom, so he was able to do a lot more than I was able to do. But I did add my little bit of women touches, but let me just kind of tell you what we've done in the bathroom. And so, yes, it's dark, but if we turn on the light, it will be the fan, and the fan is noisy. So I'm going to actually let him kind of just follow me around. And so basically, the, I felt like the color scheme in here is it picks up from the shower curtain. The light blue, the browns, and the kind of the green uh, aqua blue is very much represented in, the, in here. And it kind of just worked out. My husband actually picked out the shower curtain. And I think that's why he knew on some level that these were the colors. Of course, he knows he likes these colors. But he actually brings it quite nicely, I think, into the space. So when we came here, I don't know if my husband can get this. We, uh, this was not here. For those that don't know, you know, you could actually get this from, we got it from Walmart. You can actually have shelving and kind of put it in because we had none when it came. And so he's able to just really put in, I call it his man stuff if you want to get, you know, just things that his, his, his uh, bag to keep his shaving stuff. I don't even know, his shea butter, his stuff. Um, also, yeah, for those that don't know, and I think you do, I make toilet bowl bombs. And this is a lemongrass scented one. And you actually put these in the toilet bowl, you know, after using the toilet, particularly when you're doing number two. And it will actually make sure that the toilet bowl stays clean. It's made with baking soda and citric acid. It'll keep clean and deodorize and keep your bathroom smelling amazing, your, your toilet for sure. And then, of course, things that he loves, just like me. My husband loves candles. When I met him, he loved candles, and I love candles, so it was like a match made in, a match made in heaven. Did you get that one? That was a good one. It was a match made in heaven because we both love candles. I mean, really, I could say he loved them as much as I do. And so we're into tea lights because, as I told you before, we're really into, uh, I'm really into going to the Dollar Tree. And they have the $1 diffuser, which is this one right here. And so I keep a jar filled, which I got this jar from the Dollar Tree. I keep the jar filled with tea lights so that he can light uh, his different essential oils because my husband likes essential oils as well. I think that's something, no, he used to burn oils before. Um, yeah, he liked the, like the really fruity, fragrant stuff, and now he likes a lot of them. So we're actually burning lemongrass in here right now. And so there's a course, too, you know, we actually make our own products. It's called Africa 7 Beauty, and, and we use our own stuff. We don't use anything else. I've tried. I've bought other people's stuff, and I'm a, you'll see that in my other bag. I'm going to talk to you about that. And nothing is as good as the stuff we have. So this is actually the black soap, and this one is grapefruit flavor. And it's, a, it's just, oh, my God, it's amazing. So it is for men and women because I think somebody asked me that before. And so, of course, he keeps his own products in. My husband is a natural man as well, and so he likes coconut oil. So same thing that you would have in your bathroom, we have he has in his. So it's wonderful. It's also, you know, at some point we do have a bathroom. We use it as an oil. We use it as a workspace to make our to make our, our beauty products. But it's also kind of it is a guest room as well. So this can also act as the guest bedroom as well or bathroom. And then of course, just you know, Afrocentric home decor. I don't know if people can see this wonderful, beautiful candle holder that I love. I almost look at this like a, a I don't know, like a sheik or somebody who a more. Thank you. I never knew all the time, but that's I guess that's what the Movies kind of are copying off the Moors in a way. We look at it as like the Arab chic, you know. But actually, it's a Moor. Thank you, baby. That's so cool. So it's a Moor candle holder. Now, that is just, I'm, that's great information to know. I didn't know that. So that's good. Also, you know, I, I'm a Dollar Tree girl. I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. My husband's uh, uh, Q-tips that's in there, which we got from the Dollar Tree as well. But my husband likes to collect, collect bottles. And remember I said about having your man express himself in his house as well, and it's so important. He likes to collect bottles. Maybe your husband likes to collect bottles 
or cans or something cool or glasses. I know a lot of men like to do shot glasses and, and uh, beer glasses. I know that men like that stuff. Why don't you display those things in his space? Maybe your man, like my man, he does this by himself. Maybe you, your man doesn't do it, but he would love to have his space look like him. And then you go into his bathroom and you do it like you. You don't want to do that. You want to actually make it look like him. So when I come in here, when I do, because I do clean the bathroom occasionally, I used to clean a lot more. I polish the bottles. He looks for shapes and sizes. So his thing, babe, can they see the bottles as well? His thing is... He like, he'll look for a bottle for shape, I'm sure even for color. Look at the beautiful cobalt blue, the beautiful green. That was a, I think this is, I don't know if this was a beer bottle, but I know this one was for sure. And so he has those displayed, and there's nothing in them, but just like a woman's decor, we have stuff with nothing in it, but we like it for the beauty. And then on the top shelf, it's just more candles, personal candles, places to burn charcoal and incense. We love aroma in this house. And of course, my touch is, got to have some flowers, even if it's the Dollar Tree. And also another bottle shape that he likes, a beautiful green. So we have that kind of going throughout. Um, now let's talk about the, the art on the wall. So remember I told you about the Afro Sheen, every magazine would have the Afro Sheen um, pictures in the magazine. Of course he took it, we talked about the Masonite. This is an example, now I want to tell you in our last apartment we actually had a fire, so some of the items are a little singed because of that, but my husband kept them anyway. They are beautiful, they're classic, and who wants to get rid of them? And I'm going to, uh, I would love to him to get that, that it says uh, the, the natural look is here. So I'm just going to put this on for a second, y'all. It's going to be a little noisy, but I want you to get some light in here. So this is okay if you hear that. So and I'm actually, for the rest of this, I want us to, so we don't need the light over here, so we'll be fine. So we're going to go back over here. Also, some of the other Afro sheen. We got the man and the woman. We're talking about that. We have this one here. I always say I love this. I'm going to say it says, Upendo ni pumoja, which is love is together. Love is together, outside, inside, thinking, feeling, seeing, being. Pomoja says it all. Afro sheen, comb easy and hairspray are Pomoja for your natural because they care totally. They go beyond surface styling and sheen to condition your hair to velvety softness. Afro sheen is Pomoja. And remember, Pomoja is together. Love is together. And it's why too why Zori uses Afro Sheen. And it's a man and his son. Isn't that right? So that's a beautiful scene. And a lot of them had these little these wonderful sayings. This one up here says the bold and the beautiful. Again, it's that whole idea of the, the couples. And this one down here talks about the ultra natural. And it has a beautiful poem too. So maybe you wanted to go natural, but put it off because you thought your hair could only look one way. And it goes into this whole idea of being natural. This is one of my favorite ones. It's called Kama Mama, Kama Binti, like mother, like daughter. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. This is another one over here that's absolutely gorgeous. This is another one, a man and his son looking at an African mask. Now that one, or African statue, I think that that is so beautiful. And up there it says natural roots. And I think for, because all the ladies, I'm going to close the door, so all the ladies that are going natural, I think you can really appreciate something like that. So we're going to go back around. So this is, other, this is one of my favorite um, pictures that he has. You must have took this, did you take a poster and put it on Masonite as well? Yes. So he took this poster, found it somewhere, put it on Masonite. It is wonderful. Of course, it's in French. And so it's a, a black and something, African. It's wonderful. Love it. Had that for years. He had that for years. I know he did. This is another one. I would, the artist is, is it Johnson? William. Johnson. Okay, William Johnson? William H. Johnson. William H. Johnson is the artist that did this. One of my husband's favorite artists, of which he has lots of them, but very inspirational. I know you'll love this kind of art. Again, this one was actually in the fire as well, as, as well as the the French one, the African French one, but I think this one looks pretty good still for it to be in the fire. And then this one again, high beauty, hair dressings. Again, I was in the fire too, but again, very beautiful. Notice the colors, the browns, the blacks, the whites. Notice the same thing that's in the shower curtain. The browns, I'm sorry, the whites, I mean the blues, of course, the white. And again, his uh, towel is brown. Something that I did and I want to talk to you all about is my husband loves magazines, right? And I had this Dollar Tree bin for him to put it in, but it was, it was falling apart. So he has this wonderful table, 
And it's a chair, I guess you could call it. I, I use it as a table, but of course it's, it's an African table. And uh, it's actually really beautiful. It's a classic piece. I've seen this in a lot of African uh, flea markets and things like that. And so I, I took the table out of the living room and I covered it with this beautiful mud cloth. And so, and then I, and then I took his, um, his uh, magazines, which of course, you know, he likes GQ or he has one called African American Vision. And we have a lot of architectural ones like Emerge, Essence, again, GQ, Essence, and, but a lot of, like I said, architectural, jazz times, things that I know that he, that he loves, his own magazines that he can actually have in his time when he's here. We also put the green carpets to get, pick up that kind of green, brown, aqua feel. And then we picked it up again here, the green hand towel. And what we do with the toilet paper, first thing, his, my, I have a cleaning caddy. And so the cleaning caddy is actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to mix my husband up. I keep the cleaning caddy under the table. And this is my, all the products, uh, you know, natural cleaning products that I make. I keep them in this Dollar Tree bin with, with towels and rags. And then I just put it up there when I'm done. So it's always there, but it's out of the place. And then we take this Dollar Tree bin and we put some toilet paper rolls in it. So, you know, if nobody want to run out of toilet paper, that's like the worst feeling, right? And then, of course, I wanted to say one thing. My husband had this uh, photograph for years. I think it's something you found as well. This is not somebody you know, right? Yeah. yeah. It was a magazine? Postcard. Postcard. Blew it up, put it in a frame, just ideas for you. And maybe your husband or your man has a favorite picture that you know he loves. You can take a postcard, you can blow it up, and you can actually put it in a frame. Something to think about. We actually went to the Michaels, was having a special on their beautiful flowers. We wanted something tall. We Did you already have this or we bought this? We bought it. We bought this from Ross. I think it was Ross. We bought this from Ross, and then we put the beautiful flowers. Because, you know, given that feminine, my husband actually loves flowers. He likes live flowers. He's not that much into the, yeah, well, he's so silly. He's not that much into the fake ones, but he knows he needs some color, so he will accept those. And it's just very simple, just keeping everything neat and clean, which I, you know, I love to do, the little waste basket. So things that we're going to, that I know my husband would like, or I would love to see as well. He has this collection of pics, beautiful African pics, that I can see him having lots of space to put those on the wall. We, I want to get him, he's always admiring things like, um, uh, the, the soap dispenser of wood or the toothbrush holder. He likes those things. He doesn't get it. So I'm going to encourage him to get that. And so we can kind of bring this to the next level. I think there's something nice here, like a man's tray, where he can have room to put more stuff because he got stuff. So he can put the things that he needs to get to. I think it would be lovely. Maybe cover this with some African fabric. And I know he would love that. Just to get rid of that kind of white plainness. And, of course, there's hardwood floors in here, which I love. I think my husband wants a different kind of floor in our new home, but I love the hardwoods. I, I really, really do. And so, yes, this is his bathroom. I feel like it's very masculine. So, yes, my turn now. So, I feel like it's very uh, August. No, not over there. <laughs> well, because I feel like... I feel like it's very masculine. I feel like it's very, uh, I love the size of his. My, my bathroom is not this size, but I made it work. Um, and I feel like it's welcoming. The smell in here is so good. It's warm. You know, y'all, we don't have any mirror. We don't have any windows in our bathroom. So there's a thing, you know, we don't have a lot of windows. So we have to candle light. You know, I think we can put a couple of more mirrors. And my husband should have a full length mirror in here as well. Men need to look at themselves too. And, uh, yeah, so I can see something like that, and even something over, uh, he doesn't have to look over the shower. But anyway, I wanted to show you how he brings himself into the home. And so now stay tuned for the reveal of my feminine bathroom. See you in a minute. All right, ladies, thank you so much. And gentlemen, maybe some men are watching. So now we're in my bathroom. Now, I showed my bathroom to you in my very first video. And I, I think the lot of some things have changed, and there's some things that I want to change. Now, remember, for me, the good part about decorating your bathroom, especially when you first move into one, and then knowing how you live, you can decorate it again to fit your lifestyle more or, or the changing lifestyle that you have. And so I kind of did that. So we're going to start actually in this corner right here. So the first thing that I, I, I wanted to do was bring in some pictures of women. I want mine to be very feminine. So, of course, we're talking about Africa. It's got to be Afrocentric. So I have an Afro, African mask. 
And then I have pictures of women. I got these. It's women uh, from Jamaica because it actually says Jamaica on it. And you can see, well, I don't know. That's not the Jamaican colors, but that's the Rasta colors in there. But anyway, the two sisters are absolutely gorgeous and stunning. I bought these at a, a little outdoor place in Lemur Park in Los Angeles. I'll never forget. I think they were like $5 a piece. This Dogon door, my husband actually gave that to me. If you don't know about the Dogon of Mali, very spiritual people were the first one to identify the star Sirius. They believe that they were star people, very advanced society. Dogon of Mali, check them out. And so then I come down here. I bought these two paintings a long time ago. Yes, they did have glass on them and the glass broke, so I'm going to buy them. But somebody asked me, how do I take a shower? They don't. They don't. I don't know how they're not messing up but they're not but I won't be chancing it I will get a, a some glass for that soon but everything to me y'all I always like I say mistakenly but not even when I'm not trying I always set up altars so this is a little altar for me I got the Dollar Tree flowers I put the little bling around the glass and I always keep it this is my night light I always keep a, a, a candle going this is the vanilla do uh, Dollar Tree candle. It's so inexpensive. I keep it burning until it burns out, and I just keep replacing it. And underneath is just stuff that I keep more candles. I take, this is my rag to wipe things. I always, I got, God, I can't wait. We, we, me and this man, candle galore. Extra soap, bottles to hold my incense. And then I put all my cleaning rags down on the very bottom. And then this right here is my toilet purple holder, which I need to fill up. I have a, a trash can here uh, that I love because I don't have to, I can do this. I can just put my feet on it and I really love it. It's gold. My, my thing was, you know, silver and white and that's what I want to talk to you about. But let's go over here. Now, what the ladies don't tell you, now this shelving, I actually, it, ca it came with the space. I'm thinking that the last people that lived here probably put it in themselves and didn't want to take it out, which was great because it was already here. This actual shelving, that's why we went to Walmart. I, we actually got the same exact one. But what I did was, so I was into bling, y'all. So let me let my husband put the camera on me for a second because people told me uh, when I talk, y'all want to actually see me. So let me tell y'all. So remember when I told you in the video, I said that you don't want to, I said, you know, you can get caught up in watching other people's home decor channels and everybody's into the bling and into the bling and then you go, wow, I'm into the bling too, but you're not really into the bling. Well, I thought I was into the bling and I was watching a wonderful home decor channel sister named Sharon. She's so fabulous. She's a carpenter, you know, basically a builder. She's an amazing woman. And I watched so many of her videos. Well, I love her. So... And I thought, wow, she loved bling. I thought I loved bling. So anyway, this is what I did. And I'm still glad I did it. Because in, when you think about bling, bling comes from to us from Africa. So I'm going to have my husband come back here again. And so what I did was I took the Dollar Tree silver bling uh, ribbon. And I actually uh, took this glue called E6000. And I E6000 this. And I know this wasn't in the last video. This is what I did since we last saw each other which was a long time ago, the first video I ever did. I also did it on each shelf. I did it on one, three shelves. And so this is pretty permanent because it was used E6000 as a, like a super glue. That's exactly what it is. You can buy it from um, Lowe's or Home Depot. It's about three, four dollars. Actually, Walmart sells it as well. And so I was keeping with this kind of bling silvery thing, but I still do like it. So these are some Dollar Tree candle holders, but I actually literally put my tea lights in. We are a big tea lights person. I found these other tea candle holders from the Dollar Tree. So again, this is where the tea lights go. And when I want to have a nice bath with candles, I light them. I really do find myself loving these. Again, those are from the Dollar Tree, the candles. But also, and, I, and this is not really, you're not seeing it, but there's masks. So I, I make sure I took my mask from my last apartment and I put them here. Now let me tell you about when I say decorating for my lifestyle, I like to do oil pulling. For those that don't know, oil pulling is um, an ancient, they say Ayurvedic, so an Indian custom where they use coconut oil, sesame oil, to pull out toxins from the teeth. It actually brightens the teeth, it strengthens the gum, it takes away abscesses, diseases, but it doesn't only just take out toxins from the teeth, it takes out toxins from the entire body. So if you have a cyst or an upset stomach or mucus or getting ready to get a cold, uh, oil pulling is the best. So what I do, and we'll, 
is um, I, this is a jar from the Dollar Tree, my favorite store, and I put, this is coconut oil, yeah, but for those that don't know, coconut oil will melt when it's hot, and it's been hot here, and this is a wooden spoon that I keep with it, and I just take a spoonful, I, I kind of gobble it in my mouth for 20 minutes, and then I spit it out, and it is wonders. I keep my, um, this here, I'm just keeping uh, some cotton balls when I do my toes or my fingernails over, it's, it's nail polish remover, so basically, this is my point. If I don't use it, if it's not functioning, then I want to get rid of it. And it was things that were not functioning. I think I had more bling. The thing about getting all this mirror stuff is you got to polish it continuously to make it look really pretty. So, but I'm into candles and I needed holders. I'm into the uh, oil pulling. So, and I love flowers. So see, everything to me is making sense. I showed you this pillow. I told you I use it. I use it for every single bath that I take now. And I keep it right here near the bathtub, which is right here. So it's not, it's, it's nice. Over here was, I kept thinking, okay, I got this mirror box. I got the mirror box as this mirror with a little bling on it, right? But no, it's actually functional. I keep these pads, these, uh, these, these, what do you call these, these cotton rounds to remove my eye makeup off. They're in there. I keep extra, um, dental floor so all the things that I would actually use I keep in here I have um, my q-tips and these two are picture frames that I promise that I'm going to put either my daughter in one and or myself and my daughter in one and my husband in one or myself and my husband in one but they are they are going to be functional I'm going to use it it does have the bling and I got caught up but I, I like it it's beautiful and it's glamorous and so I'm going to keep it this here is again, I told y'all I went with the bling, but this is this is still beautiful to me. This kind of hammered silver. Oh my god, like I love it. When I come in my bathroom, I do feel really good. And I kind of that silver stuff can kind of be hard, so I could have put a little Dollar Tree flower. I use this. Now this here, of course, is the where I said like they call cotton rounds, Dollar Tree, a whole bunch for a dollar. I use mine to take off my eye makeup, my eyeshadow, and my mascara. This right here. Again, this is a Dollar Tree haul, isn't it? A uh, Dollar Tree. Actually, I, I made this. I made this. I took this candle holder, was on the bottom separate, and this was just the jar on the top. And I eat six thousand it, and I, I wanted to give my little, you know, seam here some height. And I make these wonderful. Oh my God, they smell so good. These are toilet bombs again. And again, you put them in the toilet. They'll fizz. They'll take out any of the debris that might be left and behind. And they and they freshen up the bathroom as well. So I just made a whole bunch of these. And so I just put this back here. And then here's my rounds here. This is all. I don't have, I don't wear foundation. Remember, I told you I don't do that. This is all my makeup. Everything that I showed you in the last haul I get from Whole Foods is all vegan makeup. Every last one of them. And this is the extent of it. I use vegan eyeshadow. The company used to be called Unique Cosmetics, but now it's called Now Cosmetics, N-O-W. You can look it up on the internet. And uh, let me just close this. I only have two colors. I think I got some more somewhere. Again, it has to function. I like sea salt baths. I like doing enemas. I like doing uh, oil pulling, right? And that's what I love. So. I kept going, I changed this, this was all blingy, it had all these little candle holders that was glasses, like look, I'm not using it, it's not making sense, I gotta get rid of it. This right here is another mirror box, it has M from Lisa Marie, of course I keep my rounds in there, also extra um, dental floss like I said, so see it has a purpose, it's holding something. This here is more cotton balls, which is perfect because you know when I do my toes. This is something that I, I brought back in. Now this was actually in the kitchen, as you can see. Is that Afrocentric or what? As I know, it has the woman server and the man, but I love them. I feel like we're, we're, we're rescuing them from, you know, their houses and putting them in ours. And hopefully they're working for somebody that they love now because I really do love these this whole Afro, I mean, this um, black memorabilia stuff. But let me tell you what I use it for. Yes, it's probably for flour or sugar. No, no, I don't use it for that. I'll show you what I use it for. Something that I do daily. So I do these, uh, what you call hair uh, masks, and I use a nice, wonderful avocado, all these other wonderful things that I use for a hair mask. And so what I first did is I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought these plastic caps because I, I put the mask on, all natural stuff, on my hair on a daily basis to keep the shine on the baldness, honey. Even though my hair is growing back, I'm going to cut it again. And so I get a bunch of these that come eight in the pack. 
uh, for a dollar the Dollar Tree, and then I get this top the towel that you put on this one, and you just kind of fold, and so it, it keeps the heat in, and it keeps and the mask just makes the hair so shiny. So I have one in green, and then I have another one somewhere. Oh, the, there's a yellow one in there as well. So there's green and yellow. So I use this daily. I put these on. Um, they're not reusable really, and I throw them in the way, and then I get the next one, and I put this on top, and I wash these about every other day. I'm always doing a, at least a load or half a load of laundry, so I just love that I incorporated this wonderful container, but what's in it is actually useful as well. Very, now very important to me, and yes, here is my cleaning. This is, I keep my sponge right here, and this is the, <laughs> this rag, it wasn't uh, pink, but you know, I washed it with some red, so now it's pink, but it's okay. It's kind of orange, so it kind of go with my thing, and I took burlap and wrapped it around. Easy to get to. This is what I use to wipe down. And again, I know you all saw this before, and I still have it. I do have to polish this every about every three days, at least once a week. This is just beautiful to me. And the candles I don't use. This is definitely for looks, but I want beautiful. We're talking still home decor, so I want beautiful. I just want to be able to. It, it, it covers this plain whiteness that I don't want to see, and it's really beautiful. So I love it. So let's go over to. What I did here, so I got curtains. So what I did was I took these curtains, right, and I put some orange burlap around it to hold them open because I really like that look. And I, I, So I got an orange burlap to hold that open. And then I did the same thing on the other side. So I can let them out if I want to. It has like the silvery shimmer in it. It's really beautiful. It's, it's glamorous and I do like it. I thought that I was going too far, but I love it. Now this shower curtain, let me tell you what I love. This bathroom is so small that white makes things look bigger. Actually, all the bling makes it look bigger as well. So it really is what I wanted, just didn't even really know it. So I, I was going with that bling. So I got, so this is a second shower curtain with a plastic lining in the back. And then I wanted this kind of feel like a like a window treatment. That's what I did. I did a window treatment inside my bathroom. I love, love, love this. Um, this, I'm thinking about changing this out, but I don't know. And we'll see. So, what I did here, I'm going to let my husband get in because he's going to be more over here. I'll just be talking. What I did here is, these are towels I've never used. I'm one of them people, yes. But it had the silver theme and it's white. And again, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm wanting to bring in... Something that is big and makes the bathroom feel bigger than it really is because there's no windows in here as well. Of course, mirrors always brighten up the space. And this, even though I don't, can't look in it, and I'll tell you I got enough mirrors in here, it makes it look bigger when I do look in it. I can see what's in back of me, and it's a really a beautiful look. Now this I'm going to take a little time to talk about. So, excuse me one sec. I'm going to sit on my little pillow, and I'm going to, my husband's going to get this. He, I think he can skip the altar from here. Remember, y'all, that I said that I turn everything into an altar, but I don't be meaning to. So, okay, there you go. So, yeah, so there are some things that I put on the altar. Altar, to me, always has to have water. And so I have a jar of water here. An altar, to me, has to have candle. So I have a candle lit. I also have my tea light because I got some lemongrass essential oil burning. I also have to have flowers. Yes, they're not real, but they, they are real. They're real silk. So they have my flowers going here. But everything here has to make sense. If I need a tea light, I can pull those. In this jar, over here is all my, my uh, toe stuff. So my scrubber, my brushes. Thank you, baby. You can just close it. All of that is in here, and I, so I, I, that is actually used, and then even my uh, nail polishes, which my husband helped me with my feet yesterday. He liked pretty feet, y'all. So he helped me with my feet yesterday, helped me polish my feet, my toenails, so they're looking all beautiful now. So I actually used it, um, and, and then coming over here is, but always flowers for that pop of color. I actually, every day, I put this thing called spirulina. It's a blue-green algae. It's a powder form from the sea. And I put it in my bathtub every single day. So I needed to have it close by me. That makes sense. I had stuff on here the other day that wasn't making sense. Of course, I said we have Africa 7 shea butter. We make our own shea butter to plain, so I had to keep that near me. So I'm trying some new things. So I bought this, and I don't know, it didn't do anything for me. I just want to say that. I bought this. It's called, it's, it's called, anyway, it's called charcoal soap. So it's a charcoal soap, but it's black. 
and I used it and I felt like my black soap was much better so I may use it again but it wasn't a big deal to me I bought it from TJ Maxx for six dollars I was trying something new uh, didn't turn me on but uh, also I bought this thing called fresh face it's a bamboo charcoal detoxifying sponge basically you wet it and then you just wipe it on your face I haven't tried it or opened it it's four dollars this might work in a pinch but I wanted to try it and then I always keep a, a rose quartz crystal this one is actually shaped like a heart when I do my wound work in the bathroom and I really love this I actually have two of these now if you come down here of course the flowers just for color I am not playing when it comes to candles. I don't want to run out. So my seven-day candles I get from Dollar Tree. Those are one dollar for each. I got 15 of them. I got my uh, small, I call them my, what do I call I call those my nightlight candles. And so I got those as well. And then we're going to just, my husband's in the right place. I actually got the rugs here to kind of match. If you notice, they're, they're, they're gray and white or silver and white with flecks and plec, flecks of silver in it. And then the last thing in this hot bathroom, let me say this. Let me open this door and see if I can. No. So we're going to have to keep it closed. So this is the, well, it's a few things. Remember I said that I do everything for my lifestyle. The bathroom has to make sense to me. We found, remember this, y'all? You saw this in the last haul, and I told you that I would tell you what I did with it. So let me tell you, I keep my sea salt in here. I keep a cup so I can dump, dump the cup in the sea salt, and you can see a little salt in there. I order a 50-pound bag of sea salt from customer service at Whole Foods. They deliver it to the store. I go pick it up, and I, I just keep replacing the sea salt in there. This is right has been a lifesaver for me. I love the salmon color. I still think it goes with the decor, and it's really beautiful. And then the last thing is this. So, ooh, I need a little help. Well, it gets so hot up in here. Okay, the last thing is this. So, this is, um, I don't know if y'all saw this. I think I had this box before. These boxes were plain. And I decided to bling it. And I really like the orange bling. Like the orange. I know I love orange. I took the orange tea lights and I put them in here. You all saw all this. But what I added was the bling to each and every box. On top, I put the orange uh, silk flowers and the orange, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, a, a candle jar. And I got pops of pink and lots of candles. And I actually burned these candles. Got this candle hole from the Dollar Tree. I think it's a pumpkin, so it was the fall, and I burned these as well because it got the tea lights in it, so I love that. And so what I'm, and let me see, and then of course, oh wait, so of course I keep, this is the towel I actually use, it's gray, but behind it is my enema bag. It's called Health and Yoga. I wanted to have access to it quickly, so I actually keep it right here. And then it's, anyway, nobody would really know what it is anyway because it's a wonderful uh, packaging that it has and then I just keep my towel right there so I'm a little hot in here again it's very um I'm gonna actually have my husband open the doors so I'm gonna have my husband I'm gonna switch it up I'm gonna switch places with him so oh the last thing so I'm gonna put this pillow back so I'm gonna put this so this is what I do this is my last thing as I saw you saw this before it's a pillow. I got this when I first, I wanted that glamorous pillow feel. And the reason, and what I actually do is this is where I sit to do my toenails if I want, to just relax me when I'm putting my shea butter on. So I definitely use it to glamour and then I put it back here. Things that I want. So we're gonna, I'm gonna actually go sit down because it's hot in here. And I'm gonna tell you about the things that I want and then we're gonna end it right there, so. All right, y'all, my husband's wonderful. I think he's gonna put it on the tripod and we can finish this out because we got it in parts. You know, I'm gonna wait for a second. Just hold on, ladies. Thank you for being patient. We don't do no editing here. Y'all know that already. <laughs> so, um, something that I know, and there's my husband, oh, he's gonna just tell me. Okay, good. Something that I know is that what I want to see in my bathroom, I would like to get, I do affirmations every day, you know, and um, like I'm cosmic white light radiating and emanating my entire body. I don't know if my hand, husband's um, hands was in there. <laughs> but, uh, and I, so I have all these affirmations that I want to remember. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Word document and I'm going to find some beautiful fonts. I'm going to print out the words and then I'm going to put it in a frame. And I'm going to, there's a space that's under those shadow boxes, those mirrored shadow boxes with the orange bling. I'm going to put those, about three posters or frames with affirmations in there as well. 
I'm going to get a stool. So when you sit on the toilet, you know, our colon actually, is the, the way the toilets are built today in, our, in the States, it's not actually really conducive for us as, um, as, as, we, as for our colon. In other words, we're not releasing in a proper way or completely because of the way our feet or our legs hang from the toilet. So what we need is they have stools so you can actually put your legs all the way up and your knees are a little closer and your womb is down and your knees are up. So I saw one in a couple of stores. I don't remember, I think it was either Home Depot or one of the home decor stores. So I'm gonna include that in my bathroom. Um, what else do I want? I pretty much got everything else that I need for my bath, so I feel like that's it. So yeah, just the frames and the toilet stand. I'm going to incorporate that in the bathroom as well. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for the remake of the remake of the remake uh, for my husband's bathroom as well as mine. And I uh, guess the next thing I want to work on is the foyer. And when you first come into the, the, the apartment, I haven't done that yet. And um, I also want to do a DIY with you on, remember when I did the burlap around the um, uh, mirror in the living room? Well, guess what, y'all? There is actually burlap I got from Walmart. It's a natural color that I wanted. And actually, it has the adhesive already on the burlap, so you don't have to do the gluing. It fits the frame that I bought for the mirror perfectly. And so I'm going to do a DIY with you next one. And just so much more to come. So I want to thank you for those that are interested. I am doing a spiritual retreat. It's from July, June, June 23rd of next month to June 25th. And it's, I got 30 women that I only can have. I 27 uh, spots are still left. So three women have already made their purchases. So if you're interested. Also, if you want to know more about health, a lot of you on this channel commented about the health and the uh, things that I do. I'm doing a raw food uh, demo six week training course. It just started, it's not too late. If you want to go to my website, you can check that out. And I got a new thing, it's a three hour intensive that's going to actually go for 21 days. It's all virtual. It's called the return of the womb. If you have womb issues, you can go to my website for that. Other than that, I hope you enjoy this masculine and feminine bathroom tour, Afrocentric, of course. And I hope that you have a beautiful and wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace and blessings.